Hey guys, what's going on? Will here. Just uh, showing you a video by Jungle Surfer TV. Uh, he's talking about the moon hoax and looking at the parachutes. I thought this was a pretty interesting look uh, into some things that are sketchy about some things that are sketchy about the moon landing or the re-entry or such. Uh, if you look at first, uh, this was part of a documentary uh, on you know how they how they pack the parachutes and they're using the machines and they pack them. And uh, now, what I'm unsure of, what I would like to look at is these right here, the supposedly parachutes. Um, how many of these were in the capsule? Is this one parachute or is this four parachutes altogether or three parachutes? Is this one whole package or do all of these have to go in the capsule? It's an interesting question. I don't know the answer. <clears throat> I think there can be some more research done on this, but I think there's other things to look at from here. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a red, white, and blue capsule here. Um, he points out that not, not only is coloring, but look at the way the capsule is falling. Shouldn't it have fallen with the heat shield, which is this bottom part? Shouldn't that have been the front, the first thing through the atmosphere? Well, exactly. Okay. So we're still seeing this red, white, and blue capsule. Red, white, and blue. Okay, and Apollo, last last five missions home. Um, and so now this is a camera that is pointed up and looking at the um, looking at the parachutes that are coming out. Okay. So what he points out here is these are very tangled. Um, they don't really seem to be, and this is my, <clears throat> this is my view of this. When I'm watching this, they don't really seem to be in a state where they're untangling themselves. So if you look, what I'm saying is uh, they appear to be static. So you can see by the ribs that they don't appear to be moving side to side. Well, if they're not untwisting, how did they miraculously come to this open area? Okay, so that's two questions. <clears throat> One, the color of the capsule, and two, how did these go from massively twisted to perfectly untwisted if they weren't untwisting. And then if we look at the capsule, we can see it's red and white. Okay, where's the blue? Um, it's absolutely missing. Now, see, look, you can even see the blue here on this little part, right? And you can kind of see it there. You see how that's, there's a blue? Uh, that's what I believe it is. Um, red, white, and then blue on the top. You can see the difference between the shades here. But that's bizarre because after after the opening, um, uh, there's no blue. It's like it's a different craft. <clears throat> now, is this possibly different video put together from them testing? That's a good question. I would like to find this video and uh, find, find the original and look at that. But uh, I definitely think that there's reason for questioning. And, uh, you know, I definitely think that, uh, you know, it's worth questioning, okay, well, exactly how large or how many of these parachute mummies he said it looked like mummies and I, I you know I kind of really agree but how many of these 
fit into a single Apollo capsule. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, looking at this with me. Um, these are just things that I don't understand. And uh, again, this video goes out thanks to Jungle Surfer TV. Appreciate your uh, look into it. And uh, I have to agree that that color scheming is, uh, how do you say, suspicious? Um, very suspicious? <laughs> I mean, it, it's just, no, I... I I don't think so. I mean, it, it looks completely different to me. And uh, I agree with you there. So, all right, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, love to hear what you think. Uh, go ahead, comment below. And uh, let me know if you think these are compilations or if this is supposedly the same footage. We just caught them in another lie. I'm curious what you think.